Hello everyone, welcome to week nine. We've only got a couple more weeks left until the 5K. Um, I hope the training has come along nicely and you've achieved all your goals. Hopefully you're doing longer distances and it's becoming easier for you. This week we're gonna talk about nutrition. Um, nutrition is key, um, especially for an event, not just the day before, or a couple days before, but uh, actually a week or so before to eat the proper foods to fill your body properly for an event. So what I have here is called my plate and it is a plate that we've got from our dietitian here. She uses this a lot when she's talking about proper nutrition for her patients. If you want to know more about it you can go to choosemyplate.gov and you can see that it's got all the little there's the five sections here. This is the fruits, the grains, the vegetables, the protein, and the dairy. And I'm just going to elaborate a little bit more on what you can put into each group. So, this illustrates the five food groups that are the building blocks for a healthy diet and a place setting, setting for each meal. So for fruits, which is right here in the top right, you can do apples, bananas, grapes, berries. For vegetables, corn, beans, potatoes, carrots, and green beans. For grains, brown rice, popcorn constitute as a grain, whole wheat bread, and cornbread. For protein, you could do beef, pork, chicken, tuna. Vegetarians, you could do almonds or black beans. For dairy, you could use milk, cheese, and yogurt. And, you know, there's also um, other ones. I just chose one of the more commons for each food group just to kind of give you a little bit hint on what it is. All right, and then I have a handout here. I just kind of elaborated on some key points. It's eating for peak performance. So some good snacks to do um, while eating while doing performances. Some fruit with some yogurt, some dry fruit, some crackers, um, crackers low in sodium or low in carbs, um, oatmeal raisin cookies, beet juices, fresh fruits and vegetables, and pudding. Now for pre-competition meals, um, you would want foods that are high in carbs, high complex carbs like bread, vegetables and fruits, low in simple sugars. So try to stay away from pops or sugar or candy or juices that are high in sugar. Moderate in your protein intake, um, low in fat, and adequate fluids. Now fluids is a key um, factor when doing performances. Um, they're very critical for an athlete. So drink cool, rapidly absorbed fluid before, during, and after a practice or a competition. Uh, drink two and a half cups of fluids two hours prior to exercising. Drink one and a half cups of fluid 10 to 15 minutes before exercising and never restrict your fluids while exercising. So if you're exercising very intensely for 10 to 15 minutes, make sure you're refilling yourself with about a half a cup of water each 10 to 15 minutes. Now there is some controversy with water versus sports drinks. Um, you know, because sports drinks do contain more calories and carbs. But um, and I recommend that if you are doing high intensity um, exercising, sports drinks replace a lot of electrolytes and a lot of things you lose while you're um, sweating and exercising. So um, it's not a bad decision to do sports drinks like Gatorades or Powerades if you want. I know Powerade has a zero calorie and I think Gatorade has the G2, which is the, the low sugar or no sugar. You can choose those options if you want to. But if you're doing an endurance for 60 to 90 minutes, a sports drink would be a better option than water. So here's some day-to-day -day nutrition. Um, keep food intake regular. Do not skip meals. All the fad diets that they do, um, just stick to the basics. Stick to what works for you. Healthy foods, whole foods, raw foods. Select foods and complex carbs such as breads, cereals, crackers, and pastas. These are the preferred fuel options using while exercising your muscles. Drink fluids regularly. Dehydration impairs athletic performance, even in just small, uh, minimal levels. Eat enough to maintain your body weight. Um, you don't want to have any drastic weight changes before an event because it will impair 
your athletic performance. So I hope some of these nutrition things help you while exercising. Um, again, while exercising, you don't want to try new food groups or try any new um, type of foods or meals because you don't know how it's going to affect your body. And the last thing you want to have is um, not feeling well while you're trying to exercise. So keep up what works for you. Um, try to eat healthier options while exercising. High carbs while exercising because it will um, give you energy longer. Your energy will stay. And keep up the good work exercising. Next week's video will be all about the 10K or the 5K and will help you prepare for it. Um, and I will talk to you then. If you have any questions, give me an email or shoot me a phone call. If you have any questions, if you're not getting to where you think you are for the 5K, I'd be more than happy to help you. And happy running and walking, everyone.